हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आप देख रहे हैं आपका प्यारा सा चैनल ए डी बी फिजिक्स सेकेंड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ ए करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इस वीडियो लेक्चर में आप पढ़ेंगे करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सेकेंड किरचॉस लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वेस्टर्न ब्रिज मीटर ब्रिज पोटेंशियोमीटर प्रिंसिपल एंड टू एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द पोटेंशियोमीटर कंपेरिजन ऑफ द ई एम एफ of a primary cell and determination of the internal resistance of the cell using the potentiometer let us start the first let us start the kirchhoff's laws in in a previous video lecture we discussed that ohm's law to find out the potential resistance or current in a simple circuit we can use this ohms law very effectively and easily but when circuit is a more complex and difficult in that case use of the ohms law is a very difficult in that case to analyze the any complex or difficult electrical network we use the kirchhoff's laws and there are the two laws first law is known as the junction rule or yeah, law of law of current the statement is algebraic sum of the current at the junction in any electrical network is always zero junction means at this point this is the junction look at here and sum of the current at this junction equal to zero in this case i1 is the current is coming toward the junction same way i4 is a coming towards the junction so incoming current towards the junction is taken as a positive and outgoing current i2 i3 and i4 is taken as a negative and sum of this current is a equal to zero this is the sign current incoming current is taken uh, towards the junction is taken as positive outgoing current from the junction is taken as a negative charge charges cannot be accumulate at the junction number of charges arrive at the junction in the given time must leave the same time in accordance with the conservation of the charges this law first law is known as a junction rule and second law is known as a voltage law or yeah, loop rule the rule is the algebraic sum of the all the potential and emf along the any closed path of the electrical network is always zero algebraic sum again here sum of the potential difference and emf in a closed path sum of the potential difference potential difference means v is equal to ir current into resistance potential drop and emf along a any closed path of the electrical network is zero let us start here also the sign convention is used this is the a b c d and e this is the one closed loop another is a a b c a a c d a these are the three closed loop we can select here but when we are writing this algebraic sum of the potential drop and emf is zero we have to use the sign convention sign convention is first indicate the direction of the current current ka direction dikhana hai jab hum in the direction of current direction of current dikhana hai direction of current is always positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal जब करंट का डायरेक्शन हम दिखाते हैं तो इन दी डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करंट टेकन एज ए नेगेटिव व्हेन वी ट्रेस इट पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू नेगेटिव टर्मिनल जब हम पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल से नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ईएमएफ इन ए क्लोज पाथ में जाते हैं तब ईएमएफ को नेगेटिव लेना है और पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप जो है अक्रॉस द रजिस्टेंस अगर हम करंट के डायरेक्शन में जा रहे हैं तो वो निगेटिव लेना है और अगर उल्टा डायरेक्ट करंट के उल्टा डायरेक्शन में जा रहे हैं तो पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप अक्रॉस द रेजिस्टेंस इज टेकन एज ए पॉजिटिव ईएमएफ ईएमएफ का क्या करना है इन द व्हेन वी आर इन द व्हेन ए क्लोज लूप व्हेन वी आर गोइंग पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू द नेगेटिव इज टेकन एज ए नेगेटिव 
and if we move from the negative terminal to the positive terminal it is taken as a positive this is the sign convention used while analyzing the or using this a loop rule let us start the one select the one closed loop in this a, a, a electrical circuit a b c a this is the a b c a in this closed path start from the point a this in pause at, at this emf e1 we are moving positive to the negative means it is a minus e1 across this resistor r1 potential it is opposite to the direction of the current so the current is i1 into r1 is a potential drop and opposite to the direction of current is taken as a positive right then move to this point c there is no any resistance in this path and again we are moving opposite to the direction of current across the r2 and current through this r2 is a r i1 plus i2 so this again opposite to direction of current is taken as a positive i1 plus i2 r2 equal to zero so this is the equation in a one closed path and apply the sign convention similarly we can use the select the another loop a c d a this is the closed loop a c d a in this closed loop a to a to c we are moving in the direction of current again this is the minus i and potential across the r2 is a minus i1 plus i2 r2 and when passing from the c to d again in the direction of current across r3 current is i2 minus i2 into r3 here the emf e2 passing negative terminal to the positive terminal it is a positive equal to zero so in this way we can analyze the electric electrical network in a closed loop by applying the voltage law and using these two laws any complex or difficult electrical circuits we can find electric current in this a network yeah emf let us take the one example the board cbc map 2010 mein pucha gaya tha question use the kirchhoff's rule and write the expression for the current i1 i2 and i3 in the circuit diagram shown this is the diagram is given and write the expression for the i1 and i2 find the value of i1 and i2 and i3 using this a kirchhoff's rules first here here this is the junction at this point it is indicated by a. use the kirchhoff's first rule this known as a junction rule so at this junction i3 is a incoming current i2 is a outgoing current i1 is also outgoing incoming current is taken as a positive and outgoing current is a taken as a negative so i3 equal to i1 plus i2 this is the first equation it is denoted by one they apply kirchhoff second law in a closed loop a this is the a b this path a b d a a b d c or again a this path again start a to b negative terminal positive terminal to the negative emf of e1 is a negative this is the negative again the this is the in the direction of the current this is the resistance r1 equal to 4 ohm and current current is a current is a i1 so this 4 in the direction of current is a minus 4 i1 this is the direction opposite the direction of the current and current passes to say it is i2 it is opposite so it is taken as a plus 3 i2 this is a plus 3 i2 
and passing from the negative terminal of the battery to the positive so it is taken as a emf plus one this is the plus one and loop is a completed equal to zero so this is the a1 equation again simplify this equation after after rearranging the term 4i1 minus 3i2 equal to minus 1 this is the second equation again we take the another third loop of this th third loop a b c a a a b c this is not a c actually uh, this is a f this is the here there is a print mistake this is the f f a b f and e a this loop we we can select the another color this is the a this is the another loop this is the one closed loop apply the kirchhoff's law let us start from the a to b b to f f to e and then a negative positive to negative minus 2 emf is a minus 2 again in the direction of the current minus 4 i1 again here up uh, this is the na resistance is r3 again in the direction of current so this is a two uh, current is a i3 the value of the resistance 2 so minus 2 i3 and emf negative terminal to the positive terminal so it is a plus 4 equal to 0 by arranging the terms the equation becomes a 2 i1 plus i3 equal to 1 these are the two solving these two equations we will get by simplifying substitute this value of a i3 from the equation 1 this equation i3 equal to i1 plus i2 equal to 1 and simplifying then this equation will become say 3 i1 plus i2 equal to 1 solve the equation 2 and 3 we get the we'll get the values i1 i2 and i3 this is the question it is very simple and we can easily find the value of a current in the electrical circuit let us start this uh, another this uh, Weston's bridge Weston's bridge is the arrangement of the four resistance in the form of bridge it is used for measuring the one unknown resistance in terms of the other three known resistance these are the four resistance p q r and s they are arranged in the form of bridge and b and d these are the two terminals connected with the galvanometer so this will act as a bridge when bridge is a balance peak ratio of the p divided by q equal to r divided by s then no current flow through the galvanometer we can say that galvanometer no current flow through the galvanometer it shows the null deflection means bridge is in a balanced condition again western bridge is the arrangement of the four resistance p q r s resistors in the form of the bridge it is a measuring the unknown resistance when in terms of the other three resistors are known out of this four resistors if any one resistance is a unknown and three are the knowns we can find out the unknown resistance by using the three known resistors this is this, this electrical network easily simplified by using the kirchhoff's law and proof for this a uh, p divided by q equal to r divided by s this is the western's bridge balance condition this can be proved by using the kirchhoff's kirchhoff's two rules here this one bridge connected the external emf e and direction of the current is a positive to the negative it goes to point junction at a i1 is passes through it then i1 i minus i1 passes through this r at the b current passes through the galvanometer is ig and 
through this Q resistance, this total current is I, Ig passes through this galvanometer, the remaining I uh, remaining I minus Ig passes through this resistance Q. And through the S, yes, this is the I1 minus Ig, uh, uh, I minus I1 plus this Ig passes through this uh, yes. And again I this complete the circuit. Apply the first uh, apply the loop rule for the A B D A. Where is the A B D A? This close part. For this close part, apply the loop rule. Uh, loop rule. So let us start from the point A. Current is a I1. Value of the resistance is a P. So in the direction of current is a minus I1 P. Again, in the direction of the current passes through the galvanometer, Ig minus Ig into G. G is the resistance of the galvanometer. And this is the opposite to the direction of the current. So I minus I1 into R, it is taken as a plus and loop is a complete. So it is a equal to zero. And another, take, let us take the another loop, B, C, D, B, B, C, D, P. This is the another loop. This is the another loop. In this loop, B, when we passes to the B to C in the direction of the current, again, this is the uh, minus. So this minus I1 minus Ig into Q. This is the opposite to the direction of current. I minus I, I1 plus Ig into S. This is a plus opposite to the direction. And here again, current through the galvanometer capital G is a opposite to the direction of current. Here again, it is a plus. When bridge is a balance, bridge balance means no current flow through the galvanometer. Ig equal to zero. Ig equal to zero. In a bridge, bridge balance condition, Ig equal to zero. Bridge is said to be balanced substituting the value of a ig equal to zero in these two closed loop relations then we will get this relation minus i1 p plus i minus i1 into r equal to zero and here ig is a zero this ig is zero this ig is zero then i minus i1 q plus i minus i1 into s equal to zero Divide this equation 1 by 2, then this will be relation will be obtained P divided by Q equal to R divided by S. Yes. This is the condition for the this is the condition for the Weston's bridge. When bridge is a balance, means no current passes through the galvanometer. Then P ratio of the two resistance P divided by Q equal to R divided by S. Yes. This meter bridge is a example of a, it is a base on the example of a Western's bridge. It is a work on the meter bridge is a base on the principle of a Western's bridge. It is work on the principle of a Western's bridge. When bridge is a balance, means current, no current flow through the galvanometer, then this ratio of the two resist P divided by Q equal to R divided by Yes, this is the principle of a meter bridge. The, what is a meter bridge? Meter bridge is a one device which is used to find the unknown resistance of a any unknown resistance of a wire, yeah, any unknown resistance. It consists of a these are the one metallic strip. There is a one two connector point gives a gap where with known resistance we can connect. And unknown resistance x in between these two gap is connected, which value is to be find. This is the point. This is the point where the galvanometer is connected, and this is the jockey which is can move across the wire. Why it is known as a meter bridge? Because length of the wire is a one meter. Yeah, 100 centimeter. So this is the meter, one meter, and this acts as a bridge. And this pore resistance R, X, resistance of this length of the wire, 
and resistance of the J to B, this proportion of the wire, these are the acts as a poor resistance. And when galvanometer shows the no current through, no current through it means bridge is in a balanced condition. We can find the unknown resistance by using the meter bridge. Meter, jab koi unknown wire ka resistance find karna hai, to ye wire across the yaha gap mein connect karna hai. Is yaha resistance box, RB means resistance box se known resistance pata hai. To ye galvanometer ki jockey wire ke upar slide karenge. Jaha galvanometer current, it will not show any current. Then we can say bridge is a balance. The, where P is a P, P means the resistance of this R, and Q means this resistance of the unknown resistance X. So in place of the P, it is written as a R, then a X, and length of this portion A to J wire. The resistance of this wire A to J, it is written as a R A J. And length of this portion J to B, it is written as a R J B. R A J and R G B acts as a R and S yes, resistance in the Western's bridge. So we have we have to find here the unknown resistance of this X. So R divided by X equal to A J length of this portion divided by J B. Length of this portion balance point is obtained is a L from A to J. And the remaining per total length is 100. So remaining it is a 100 minus L centimeter. So X rearranging the term X is equal to R into 100 minus L divided by L. This we can find out the resist unknown resistance by using the formula. R is a resistance from the resistance box. It is a known length. Length L, we can find out where the balance point is a obtained. In this way, meter breeze is used to find out the unknown resistance of the wire by using this uh, principle of a Weston's breeze. Let us take the one example from the NCERT text on the meter breeze. The question is in a meter breeze. The balance point is found to be at 39.5 cm from the end A when resistance Y is of a 12.5. This is the resistance Y is a 12.5. And this balance point is obtained at the this length A to this J. This A to J, the length is a 39.5. Uh, we can take the pin 39.5. This length L will equal to 39.5. This is the given 39.5 centimeter uh, when Y is a 12.5 ohm. Determine the resistance X, this value of X, y, uh, X, then. First part of the question, we can easily use this formula x divided by y. This is a x divided by y equal to L divided by 100 minus L according to the Western's bridge. So we have to find the x values. x is equal to then L divided by 100 minus L into y. L is a 39.5. Substituting this value, we will get the x is equal to 8.2 ohm. Then question is why the connections between the registers of the Weston's is made uh, Weston's or meter breeze made of the thick copper strips. These are the thick copper strips. These are the thick copper strips are used for making the meter breeze. This is the question why it is a because when resistance is a inversely proportional to the area of the cross section when thickness is the more then resistance will be a lower so this is a in the connection between the resistance are made thick wire strips to minimize the resistance of the 
connection wires because these resistance have not been counted in the formula okay then determine the balance point determine the balance point of a bridge if x and y is a interchange x x is a replace to y and y in place of the x then what is the balance point when uh, when x and y interchange then will they in um, the interchange then i uh, l and x minus will also interchange agar x ki jagah y lagayenge y ki jagah x lagayenge to ye bhi kya hoga l aur 100 minus l interchange hoga um, so balance point length l dash will be 100 minus l means 100 minus 39.5 minus karenge to it will be 60.5 cm then third question what happened to the galvanometer and cell is interchange galvanometer ke jagah pe cell lagayenge aur cell ke jagah pe galvanometer lagayenge to at the balance point of the bridge would the galvanometer shows the any current this is the question when we change if the galvanometer and cell are interchange the position of the balance point remains unchanged position balance remain unchanged but sensitivity of the bridge changes now the galvanometer shows the constant deflection galvanometer shows the constant deflection another device this known as a potentiometer 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 it is a same as a having a large large number of turns of a wire of uniform area of a cross section and constant current passes through it this is the potentiometer is a device it is used to find the, compare the emf of the two cells this is the one application and it is also used to determine the internal resistance of the cell using the potentiometer so in this class or in this video we learned the two application we will learn the two application of the potentiometer comparing the emf and another is here to find the internal resistance of the cell then what is the potentiometer this is also the practical to find the internal resistance and compare the emf of the two cell um, so what is the principle of a potentiometer if constant current flows through the potentiometer current is a constant by using this what now constant current flows through this a potentiometer by this arrangement of the rheostat and battery i will let me explain it later the when constant current flows through the potentiometer of wire uniform area of the cross section and potential difference across the any part of the uniform wire is directly proportional to the length of the that portion of the wire when this battery is connected this is the rheostat we can adjust the current through using the variable resistance this is known as a rheostat a is the this a ammeter used to measure the current in the wire and this is the one volt meter is connected across it then when constant of this wire having a the here there are the four 400 meter centimeter wire is used having a four turns uh, each having a hundred centimeter or one meter connected across this say wooden block and this is the two pre ends a and b connected to the b is connected to the key then reverse that um, uh, positive of the positive of the emitter negative to the negative of the battery positive of the battery to the a then when this wire having a uniform area of the cross section and constant current passes through this wire then potential drop across the any length of the portion of the wire is directly proportional to the l this is the um, directly proportional to the l so v is equal to k into l v is directly proportional to l here v v is equal to k into l k is known as a potential gradient v is equal to ir this is the ohm's law r is equal to rho r is equal to rho l divided by e substituting the value of the r 
will get v is equal to l rho a into i rho divided by a into l this is the constant when constant current passes through means i is a constant resistivity is a constant area of the cross section is a uniform then v is a directly proportional to l and this proportionality constant v divided by l r is known as a potential gradient so v is a directly proportional to l so the when we plot the graph v against i the graph will be a straight line this is the principle of a potentiometer let us study the two application of the potentiometer pehla application hai compare the emf of a two cells by using the potentiometer two cells e1 and e2 whose emf is to be compared is connected in this way parallel to each other both the positive of the e1 and e2 is connected to the point a negative is connected to two way key then the resistance box here to protect the galvanometer from the high current and this is a jockey and another this side circuit a again this this um, this known as a driven battery e whose ema is always greater than e1 and e2 positive connected to a and the negative is connected to emitter rheostat and then key through the key it is connected to point b so this is the one application of a potentiometer compare the emf of the two cell e1 and e2 the circuit diagram this is a simple circuit diagram this is a two way key when first cell first in this uh, diagram the potentiometer is used to compare the emf of the two cell e1 and e2 this is two way key first allow the constant current through this wire by adjusting value of the rheostat and when constant current passes through this wire having a uniform area of the cross section then close the key e1 through this a two way key then e1 comes in the circuit slide the jockey j1 over the wire and obtain the balance point where the galvanometer shows the zero deflection this is the e1 in the circuit so e1 equal to i into r1 so r r1 equal to rho l1 into a this is the i similarly remove the key from the e1 place it in a e2 in the circuit and again obtain the balance point the equation e2 equal to i rho l2 into a dividing e1 by e2 it will be a l1 divided by l2 in this way ratio of the two emf of a primary cell we can find out or compare the we can compare the emf of a two cell this is the one practical in a class 12th compare the emf of a two cell another application of the potentiometer is a determine the internal resistance of the cell using the potentiometer ye jo internal resistance hai ye jo cell hai e iska internal resistance find karna hai baki jaise first application mein kiya tha wo same circuit diagram hai only the change is in place of the e1 and e2 जहाँ ई एम एफ कंपेयर करने के लिए दो सेल यूज किए थे उनके जगह पे अभी क्या करना है एक जिसका जिस सेल का इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस फाइंड करना है वो कनेक्ट करना है और उसको पैरल एक शंट रेजिस्टेंस यस कनेक्ट करना है थ्रू दी की के टू अदर सर्किट इज रिमेन सेम फर्स्ट क्लोज द की फर्स्ट टाइप की क्लोज द की के वन इसको क्लोज करो एंड keep the k2 is open obtain the balance point then the potential difference across this portion of the wire aj a a and j is the same as the potential of a or e e map of a cell e so here written is a potential okay ha huh. potential difference across the 
सेल पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस दी ए एंड जे ए टू दिस इज जे वेयर बैलेंस पॉइंट इज ऑप्टेन इक्वल टू ई एम एफ ऑफ द सेल दिस ई एम एफ ऑफ दिस सेल ई वन बिकॉज यर नो करंट इज अ फ्लो करंट ऑलवेज फ्लो फ्रॉम द हायर पोटेंशियल टू लोअर पोटेंशियल बट नो करंट फ्लो थ्रू द गैलोनोमीटर इट इंडिकेट द पोटेंशियल एट अ पोटेंशियल बिटवीन द ए एंड जे इज अ सेम एज अ पोटेंशियल ऑफ ई सो दिस ई इक्वल टू के इन टू एल वन एल वन इज अंथ बिटवीन ए टू जे नाउ क्लोज द की के टू एंड स्लाइड दी जॉकी वो होर दी वायर एंड ऑप्टेन दी बैलेंस पॉइंट वे आर गैलोनोमीटर शो अगेन दी नल डिफ्लेक्शन दिस इज द न्यू लेंथ ऑफ द वायर एल टू एंड दिस इज द पोटेंशियल देन दिस थ्री पोटेंशियल ऑफ ए सेल ई पोटेंशियल अक्रॉस दिस रेजिस्टेंट रेजिस्टेंस यस एंड पोटेंशियल अक्रॉस दिस वायर इज द सेम सो वी इक्वल टू पोटेंशियल वी इज इक्वल टू के इन टू एल टू डिवाइडिंग this e by v equal to it will be a l1 divided by l2 and the internal resistance of the cell the formula is r equal to e divided by v minus 1 into r substituting the value of e divided by v equal to l1 l2 then internal resistance of the cell equal to l1 divided by l2 minus 1 into r the l1 is a length of the wire where the balance point obtained when k2 is open and l2 is a length of the wire where balance point is obtained when k2 is a closed and r is a this value of this center resistance yes in this way we can find out the internal resistance of the cell using the potentiometer let us discuss the one numerical base on this potentiometer this question is this is the this question is asked in the cbsc 2008 potentiometer wire of a length is a 1 meter potentiometer wire of a length is a 1 meter to the driver cell of emf is a 3 volt this is the driver cell and length of wire is a 1 meter shown in figure when the cell of emf 1.5 this is cell of a emf 1.5 is used in the secondary circuit the balance point is found to be 60 cm it will be found at the length of a 60 cm by replacing this cell by cell of the unknown emf the cell is replaced by the unknown emf another cell is replaced unknown emf the balance point shift to the 80 cm it goes to the some 80 cm calculate the emf of a unknown cell then we can use the first application first uh, application of the potentiometer comparing the emf emf of a first cell e1 yeah e2 divided by e1 equal to l2 divided by l1 the length is a known second length is 80 first length is a 60 and e1 is a 1.5 by substituting this value the e2 value will get the 2 volt this part of the first question is a over the second question is explain explain with the reason whether the circuit works if driver cell is a replace with the cell of the 1 volt driver cell means 3 volt cell is a replace with the 1 volt it will not work because the emf of this driver cell it is a always greater than the secondary cell otherwise we will get not get the balance point so this is the circuit will not work if emf of the driver cell is one hole less than the less than that of the cell in a secondary circuit because total voltage across the ab is one volt which is which cannot be balanced Volt is 1.5. So when it we could you replace 33 volt to the one volt, and this a uh, for the one volt we cannot obtain the balance point for the 1.5 volt. This is the question. 
then third is does the this is over this does this high resistance r use in the secondary circuit this is a high resistance from the resistance box used in the secondary circuit affect the balance point justify your answer when balance point is obtained the current ig or through this galvanometer equal to equal to zero current is a zero current zero means no current flowing through this a resistance r so it will not affect no since balance point no current is flows through the galvanometer cell remains open circuit means no current flow through it means it will not affect in the circuit